Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to the second edition uh, of the weekly breakdown of the pairs of traded. So right in front of me is EURUSD and um, also like GPUSD, it's been moving like crazy. Uh, we've, uh, we actually collected a lot of pips uh, on this pair specifically. In total on EURUSD, we collected over 200 pips in total. So actually, uh, that's actually a modest figure. So it's actually way above that. So I'll just update uh, on the Telegram page, uh, like the full stats for Euro USD. So first things first, uh, this is uh, this is all the trades that we we taken. Uh, this I think was around about like the 10th of July. Uh, also, these trades were posted on the Telegram page, and uh, this one happened on the 15th, and this one happened on the 18th. So let me just remove all of this and just explain to you what i had seen on you on your usd right so first thing we'll do go on the daily time frame and on the daily time frame um we had this ascending uh trend line that came off of these areas of support that came off these areas of support here yeah? uh also we had a key level right there and we had this area of support so we would connected 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and just drawn it across uh, projecting it into the future. So remember our trend lines, your line has to be based off of obvious points, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and then just draw it across like that. Um, so we have price breaking that counter trend line and then retesting it as resistance, as a form of support. Alright, so... So we had uh, these areas of support here. These areas of support. So when price came around about these levels, I was really waiting to see um, how price closes. So and we have we had rather a nice uh, daily um, hammer candle there. So let me just drop down to. Okay. So when I when 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 I'd seen uh, price go back to this area on the trend line. I was ready to take my trades so I'll first go into the long uh, the short trade and I'll discuss the long trade around these areas so let's go to h4 so this is h4 So uh, when price uh, moved from this level of support and came back to tap that trend line, uh, I was really waiting to see um, how uh, the candles reacted at this point here. So when I saw this kind of behavior uh, shown by all these spikes around this area here, as you can see, we had price jump up here and it came back again. Uh, right on the trend line so we had a nice strong area of resistance at these areas here so what I was really waiting for was another test on the trend line after that tap there so it was uh, so this is called a double top structure uh, that's uh, when you ignore this one yeah it's called a double top structure so I was waiting for price to close way below that trend line here. So when I saw this nice uh, tweezer top formation on the 4 hour, I immediately um, took my trade at the close of that candle because uh, we've been failing to break this area for a while now. So I took my trade at the close of the tweezer uh, top candle. That the second candle of the tweezer top formation. So I took my trade there. Uh, my stops were really tight on this one, around about like 10 pips above that area. Then I was targeting, so my target was the previous area of support where price had came from. So that was uh, my target for that one. So I had my trades right on there. My, my stop loss was about 10 pips from that high and my target was on the previous area of support. So that was the short trade that was posted around about the 15th of July. Uh, please go on the Telegram page and have a look at uh, this trade setup. 
Right, so that, that is what I saw. So my giveaway, or, or rather, like the giveaway for this trade here was based off of two points. Um, the first one being we had a double top. We had a double top at an area of resistance. And then secondly, we had tweezer tops. Tweezer top. So these are four hour tweezer tops. Four hour tweezer top uh, formations. At those areas. So the first one was a double top at an area. And then the second reason we had tweezer tops H4 on H4. So it's also important to consider uh, your four hour candle closes because uh, they really uh, tell you uh, what's uh, potentially going to happen in the market. So that is for that short trade. Um, nice uh, 60 odd pips off of those trades. And then uh, getting to the trades that we took um, this week. So uh, when price came back to this area of support, I was really interested to see how they close around about these areas. So if you just look at uh, this area here, uh, this was sort of the same setup as the GP USD, like I explained uh, when I drew uh, the setup here from the edge of that wick, and I just drew a box um, downwards. I drew a box downwards, drew a box downwards from the edge of the wick, I drew a box downwards. So I was waiting for price to sort of come back into these regions here. Uh, sort of come back into these regions here because because this was an area of significant support I was waiting for price to come back well within those regions and look at the kind of candles they gave us they gave us a, uh, they gave us a spinning top they gave us a hammer right on the area of key support right right on the area of key support so what I was waiting for I was waiting for a breakout and then a retest for um, uh, to confirm that price would be going long, so that setup is clear on H1. So I'll go down to the H1 time frame and I'll show you what I was waiting for. So this is setup that I posted uh, in the Telegram page before the trade setup had happened. Similar trade setup to the GMP USD. So uh, this was the previous swing swing high before we dropped right into those regions here and creating again a double bottom so i was waiting for price to come up and retest uh, that box as support so uh, this is what i was waiting for for price to come out that area and test that area as um support and uh, if i can pull up the fib we actually have a valid fib there at that area so this is what I was waiting for so we had a nice pullback on the 50% fib level so the entries were taken around about this area here like I said uh, in the telegram page entries were taken around about this area here and in terms of targets in terms of target, um, I talked to that previous area of resistance as a target. So uh, my trades were taken. Let me just pull up the risk reward tool. So my trades were taken out about these areas here. Then in terms of um, stop loss, stop loss was really tight, about 10 pips below that low here. So there were fairly tight stop losses, and then my target was all the way up. To that area there. So, um, if you are uh, in this trade and you watched it all the way, when you saw a price come back like this, uh, you were almost rattled, you know. So, but uh, like I always say, always, always, always trust the process. Once you place a trade, um, just let it run. Uh, uh, just be always be disciplined enough to let the market take you out. Um, well, uh, what do I mean by that? Like, uh, always be disciplined enough to let the market hit your stop loss. So when you see this kind of move going against you, after all this profit going against you, uh, don't panic. Just wait to see what market is doing. Because they've been going up all this while, 
we were due for a pullback. So always remember that price doesn't just go up forever. You know, so price goes all the way up and then wait for a pullback and then price shuts up. But uh, to be honest, uh, this was really a deep um, pullback. But uh, uh, this pullback was mainly caused because of Euro GBP. Uh, the move on Euro GBP. Let me just go to it quickly and I'll show you the cause of that big pullback. It was based because uh, it was because of this move here. So that pullback was a result of this massive drop on Euro GBP. That was the biggest reason for the pullback. So Euro uh, Euro USD and Euro GBP are pairs that are, are positively correlated. So uh, Euro GBP normally dictates uh, the direction of uh, Euro USD. So that pullback was based off of uh, the Euro GBP move that we saw just there. So uh, after that pullback, uh, you, you could have taken some entries because price fell into that region that it marked out of support. So you could have taken more entries here. But I just stood aside because my entries were really taken from that point here. And I just let the trades run. So uh, by the evening, where, uh, my take profits were all hit right on about 66 pips per trade. Right, so um, the giveaway for this trade setup here was was firstly was uh, the fib four by fifty percent that was based uh, price came out of the box and tested it and tested it as support so that was the first giveaway um, as support let me just pull this up here and put it back a call so that was the first giveaway uh, is that price came out of the box and we had a, a nice fib right on the 50 fib level and price just exploded upwards and then in terms of targets um, this previous area of resistance was a good area for us to have our targets so um, like uh, GPUSD from the areas of resistance we did see actually prices fall from yesterday night into to morning today but I'm currently not on EURUSD or GPUSD. Uh, I hope um, the pointers that I gave out to you guys in this video are really helpful and uh, will also help you in your own personal trading. So always remember that less is always more in trading. Try to uh, keep your charts as clean as possible. Uh, like you see, like we don't use any indicators, we just study in price action. We just use trend lines and uh, different shapes, the rectangular shape and the um, circle shape. So please, please, please um, go through the Telegram page to see uh, these befores and afters and also um, share, like and comment on our YouTube page. So the YouTube channel is called Capital Effects Academy. Uh, it should be out uh, later on today. Alright, thanks so much guys and all the best with your trading.